Hello everyone, it's Dofton here again, and this is a follow-up to the latest video where we failed to uh, address the texture swapping. Meanwhile, I uh, became aware of the problem, the issue that we had. The issue was with uh, FV2 files. What we, need to with what we need to know about FV2 files is that uh, here, this passage, so they can change models textures, show and hide model meshes, or attach and uh, attach two or more models together. Their complete functionality is not yet known. But uh, meanwhile, I started to dig up the files regarding Ishmael, and I found uh, FOVA files, FV2 files, that are responsible for changing uh, his textures in the hospital scene. Now we are going to talk about how to change these. Thankfully, we have a tool for it called, well, frankly, uh, FV2 or FV2. I don't like this name. It's really messes with my pronunciation. You can get this from the GitHub page. You will find it, uh, the link in the video description. Okay, so here will be FV2 tool that we are going to use, but first we need to drag down the FV2 files. To do that, we are going to, of course, again, use uh, file profiliator in file monolith, but first things first, where are these files? So, let's open up a new browser. We are going to unpack files, asset, tpp, fova, character, and inside here we are going to find that Ishmael has two fv2 files. So we not yet know which one is responsible for changing uh, Ishmael's appearance, so we are going to check both of them. But before we do that, let's copy the path, go back to file monolith, open file profiliator, Browse these files, select them both, and uh, select an output folder for them. Our output folder for them will be the same install folder uh, where our Ishmael model and custom textures are already located. So we are going to adding this to the folder that we will pack up with Makebyte. Okay, build the directory, stu uh, directory structure. It is only going to take it a few seconds. Meanwhile, oh, it's already done. Okay, so we can cl uh, close file profiliator. Yeah, it's already here. So, mods, install, asset, tpp, pack, fova. And uh, they also be a mission too, because uh, the hospital scene is also packed up once again. Cool. So now we can move on to FV2. Ooh. Okay, this is how the UI looks like. My apologies uh, for the inconvenient uh, sound from outside. Okay, so now we need to import the FV2 files. So click on import. Move up to mods, install, asset, tpp. And uh, we know that inside the FOVA directory there should be an FV2 file. Or should be two, but uh, we expect that during the hospital scene there is another one too. So what we are going to do now is search for all possible fv2 files yeah, here. So asterisk.fv2. So we have two of v01 and uh, one of v00. Let's start with v00. Open it. Okay, so here uh, you have many data that uh, not even I'm aware of what each means, but I can see that there is a texture swap count and there are texture swaps happening uh, in the material instances. You can recognize these material instances because they are the same as uh, they were in Unity and there are also the texture paths. But what we are going to do now is not going to bother with uh, each uh, and every material. We are going to simply replace the texture path. So we come here, target, and open external files. Here are the external files that the model is trying to load. As you can see, none of these are pointing towards a custom texture. This is what we are going to change. So, to come back here to our mods, install, asset, ppp, Ishmael's new texture, and here is the texture file that we want the fv2 uh, file to 
point towards two. So it is uh, the same thing as setting up a custom texture path. We are basically setting up a custom texture path inside the fv2 file. Okay, so it's Ishmael zero underscore bear underscore. All right, so Ishmael zero, it's body face underscore bear. Right, uh, cool. BSM. So here is the BSM file. We need to uh, modify these this line to reflect this. So that means we also have asset PPP, but inside asset PPP we don't have care ish and pictures. What we have here is ish underscore new underscore texture. Excellent. So this is all the modifying we need to make for this FV2 here. Then we can export this FV2. Just export it over, basically save it over. Yes, we are replacing it. Okay. Let's see another uh, FV2 file. Let's see ish0 v01. Again, we are not going to bother with these lines. We're coming here to external files. And uh, these are hashed textures. Don't worry about these for now. And these are the file paths. Do we see any that shares the name with var0? We have var0 here, but it's uh, SRM, not BSM. Therefore, this FV2 file, uh, F, uh, what was the name? Uh, ish0 underscore F01 is something that we will not need to modify. Okay, cool. This is uh, all we have to use. Uh, FV, FV2 <laughs> for now. Okay, we can close it. Alright, so what should we do now is to go back to mods install, then again search for all possible fv2 files, delete these two from our mod install directory because we are going to uh, no need for them. Okay, let's make sure that they are deleted. Okay, this is the only one and uh, it should point towards the custom texture part for now. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is uh, pack it again with makebyte. Yes, as you can see, Makebyte uh, recognized that there is the FTX file, the FPK, the, here is the FV2. And in the previous video I forgot to mention, but as you can see, no DDS file here, even if it's included uh, in the mod install directory. Makebyte uh, is uh, smart enough to only uh, accept stuff that uh, is either in the... either shares the name with the default game files, or shares the extension. Because uh, no game uh, file inside the game is actually uh, has the DDS extension, it will not pack it. Okay, so we can just use our previous uh, parameters and build it again. Let's save it again here. Call it Ishmael Pajamas. Cool. Now it's complete. We are going to install the snake by mods. Delete the previous version. Okay, let's install uh, the fixed version. Continue installation. Then we are going to launch the game and see if uh, Ishmael is hospital. Clothes again. My apologies again for the outside sounds. All right, let's launch the game. So now the textures should apply because the FV2 files. Uh, are calling for these custom textures too. FV2 files have tons of different uses. Uh, I only use them for their texture swapping ability and uh, what I mostly do is just eliminate them uh, because uh, it can uh, cause errors. So let's say uh, you have uh, modified the texture but it will suddenly change back to its original form in a cutscene because a cutscene uh, files 
actually have enough V2. So you need to change these two. But thankfully these are not uh, as common uh, as they might seem. So it is really just an accident that uh, I began to modify Ishmael, who is happened to have an FV2 file. But um, actually it turned out great because now I can talk about FV2 files and still being on topic, still being relevant about Ishmael. Okay, now we should see him changed. Again, the scene will start. Pomba uh, quite is hugging everyone to death. Only a few seconds from the truth we are. And this sentence was probably not correct in English. Okay, so the tension is uh, going up and up for Venom Snake, but for us the tension is going up because we don't know how our, our hero will appear. In about one, two, three, four. Come on, Ishmael, don't disappoint. There you are. Well, as you can see, he is as ridiculous as we imagined him to be. So we know it works in this scene. So what I'm going to do now is uh, skip this cutscene, skip the next scene too, and let's see how he looks like uh, in gameplay. Okay, there he is, as you can see, in his really cool pajamas and those crazy good light pink slippers. Okay, so the mod is working. That's it. Uh, this is uh, the result that we were looking after in the previous video. So, I'm going to close TPP now. I'm going to bore you with it. Uh, and I'm going to end the video here. So, again, thank you for watching. And uh, we will come back later, or next time. And we are going to talk about, well, whatever comes to mind. <laughs> okay, happy modding and see you around.